let's prove the left trig identity is equal to the right one. What I'm going to do first here is I'm going to come down and I'm going to rewrite these. I'm going to change the tangent to sine theta over cosine theta. And then I'm going to switch this right portion here to 1 minus cosine theta over sine theta. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, for the denominators here, I'm going to make the 1 here and I'm going to convert it to sine theta. It'll still be 1, the equivalent of 1, but I'm just going to do a little trick here. So it's going to be cosine theta still on top. This is going to become cosine theta minus sine theta over cosine theta. And then I got sine theta here. I'm going to take, uh, it's going to be sine theta minus cosine theta all over sine theta. Now what we're going to do is go down here. Um, now, as you can see, these denominators, uh, this is the same thing. This is the same thing right here as multiplying the numerator by this when you divide it down there. So down here, it's going to become cosine squared theta over cosine theta minus sine theta plus sine theta, excuse me, sine squared theta over sine theta minus cosine theta. And what you can actually do here now is because you got the same, actually you don't have the same denominators, but you can multiply through on this right portion here by a negative one. And what that's going to do here, I'll move this over, so I'm going to write my left fraction here, cosine theta minus sine theta. That sine is going to have a negative value to it, oops, minus sine squared theta. And what this also does, because you multiply both the numerator and denominator by negative 1, it flips this around so you're going to have cosine theta minus sine theta. And now you've got common denominators, you can put these two together, so you end up with cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta over cosine theta minus sine theta. We're almost done, so we can, we can factor out of the numerator cosine theta minus sine theta, and then cosine theta plus sine theta all over cosine theta minus sine theta. As you see here, we've got like terms, one on the top and bottom. These cancel each other out to one, and you end up with your cosine theta plus sine theta. We just proved it. Yay.